I created a program for testing interfacing C-sharp uh, date and time information with uh, MySQL date and time fields. And there's basically two ways of entering information. Uh, you can type in uh, a name, uh, date, and good uh, MySQL format, which is the year, a dash, the month, a dash, and the day, and then the time in good SQL format, which is uh, the hour, whoops, whoops, the minute, and the seconds. And then you can write the record. And then we can go down to the second half, which displays the table, and hit display table. And see that the data we typed in is indeed put into the database. And the second way you can enter records is you can say uh, uh, just the name, and then type write as now and it basically puts in the current date and time at the time you push this button so if we display the table again see we have 9 1 2013 which is the current date and time our current date and the current time which is 8 o'clock and 24 seconds and you'll notice something weird about the way the date displays is it, it always has a time portion after the date and the reason for that is it's converting it to C sharp date time and just having a time of uh, 12 0 0 a.m. added to it because it's doing that and a weird thing about that is it seems to me 12 is like 12 and it should be 0 0 0 0 0 0 but what do I know but what happens if you input a uh, invalid uh, date time from uh, the point of view of uh, of uh, MySQL, which is like a regular date format, and then just do a regular time. Uh, it'll basically write it, but MySQL puts in what they call a zero value. And I actually can't display this by the uh, display table because what's going to happen is it's going to uh, create an error when it tries to convert this to string. When it tries to initially convert it to MySQL or C sharp date time because all zeros is an invalid date time. So we're going to get an error on the level of C. But if we go on the PHP My Admin and do a browse, you can see it did indeed put it in, but it put in the zero value, the uh, four zeros for year, two zeros for month, and two zeros for uh, day. So on the level of the system, you've just put in a, a marker of an invalid date, but on the level of redisplaying it in C, you're just going to get a C-sharp error, which will add in the program. So in order to start over fresh, why don't we put create table, and it says the Time Lord table was dropped and recreated. And now if we input a uh, a new guy and say write is now and then do a display table you see we can once again display data and we won't add in the system which really is why I put in the create table button is because the testing itself will cause things to mess up and you just want to start over with a clean slate 
if we look at the code for this program, if you go into the create button, basically we have our MySQL connection and MySQL command globally global variables that are used by all the functions. And then I have a drop table if exists of Time Lord, which clears out any invalid data in the previous table by just dropping the entire table. And then I recreate the table with a uh, auto increment primary key. This is defined as a primary key down here. And that way we just add the data values and this automatically gets set as one, two, three, four, and so on, and used as a primary key. And then the date type, uh, date field is date watched, it's a date type, MySQL date type. And the time watched is a uh, time type. But as I say, when you read this back in, it's going to read the date back in. It's going to convert it to a MySQL date time. And you'll get an error if it's the zero uh, marker of, of being invalid input data. So this program can't handle it because of that uh, feature. And then we have a multiply used uh, handmaiden routine called Write Time Lord which basically gets the uh, name, date, and time from the text boxes and then checks if they're empty. If they are empty it just returns and pops up a message that says you have to fill in all text boxes. And if they are all filled in it uh, basically creates an insert into Time Lord name, date watched, time watched and the values of these strings delimited uh, by single quote in the value uh, list and then it creates this as a command and it does an execute non-query and then it clears out the name, date, and time boxes and sets the focus to uh, name which is a good user friendly way of doing it so you can keep entering data and basically the, the right button just uh, calls uh, write time lord doesn't do anything else but the write as now button does a date time of dt now of date time dot now so we get the date time now into a date time variable and then we convert uh, now with the two string of uh, lowercase u format and the nice thing about the lowercase u format is it saves a lot of programming by already putting the string into the format that's compatible with MySQL the year dash uh, month dash day and hour colon minute colon second format but we have to do for, with this string is then uh, extract out the two substrings so the date is uh, str now substring starting to index 0 for a length of 10 and that'll get the date in the correct format. And then the time is uh, str now substring starting index 11 for a length of 8. And that'll get the time in the correct format. And then we just set these into the text boxes. The str date into text uh, date. And the str time and the text time. And then we call write time lord which is kind of tricky because basically we're using the text boxes as parameters to the function write time lord. But this happens so fast that you don't even see it when you run it as a program. Uh, fr from a programmer's point of view you just type in the name and then all the boxes get cleared out and it magically gets written correctly. So I thought that was kind of cool that that happens too fast for the human eye to see but not too fast for the computer to handle. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And we're going to be doing more experimentation with uh, uh, C Sharp uh, date time and uh, MySQL date uh, data type and time data type in the next video and with the uh, things I want to actually test as to how they'll work for an actual program. But until uh, the next video, 
I'd appreciate it if you subscribe.